Hello guys, this is Sir EJ and welcome to another math tutorial. In today's topic, we will be discussing all about arithmetic sequence. So let us define first what is an arithmetic sequence. So when we say arithmetic sequence, it is a sequence where every term after the first term is obtained by adding a constant. So the formula in finding the arithmetic sequence is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times the common difference, wherein a sub 1 is equal to the value of the first term, n is equal to the number of term, a sub n is the n term, and d is equal to the value of the common difference. So common difference denoted as d is the constant number added to the preceding term of the arithmetic sequence. It can be calculated by subtracting any two consecutive term in the arithmetic sequence. So let's say, for example, we have the following sequence. So we have 2, 7, 12, 17, and then 22. So to get the value or to solve the value of the common difference, we will subtract the value of the second term minus the value of the first term so a sub 2 minus a sub 1, which is 7 minus 2, is equal to 5. a sub 3 minus a sub 2, 12 minus 7, is equal to 5. a sub 4 minus a sub 3, which is 17 minus 12, is equal to 5. And then a sub 5 minus a sub 4, which is 22 minus 17, is equal to 5. So the value of the common difference is equal to 5. So let's now have an example. Let's try to solve the 40th term of the sequence 9, 15, 21, and 27. So the first step is to find the common difference. So using the formula of the common difference, d is equal to a sub 2 minus a sub 1 or d is equal to a sub 3 minus a sub 2, d is equal to a sub 4 minus a sub 3. So all we need to do is to substitute the value. The value of the second term is equal to 15, the value of the first term is equal to 9, and the value of the third term is equal to 21, and the value of our second term is equal to 15. And also the value of the fourth term is equal to 27, and then the value of the third term is equal to 21. And then we will subtract 15 minus 9 is equal to 6. 21 minus 15 is equal to 6. 27 minus 21 is equal to 6. So therefore, the common difference is equal to 6. So the next step you need to do is to identify the given. So we have the value of a sub 1 or the first term is equal to 9. And then the value of our n is equal to 40. And then the value of the common difference is equal to 6. And then we will find the value of a sub 40 or the 40th term of the sequence. And then after you identify the given, you will use the formula of the arithmetic sequence in which the formula is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times the common difference. And then we will substitute. So a sub n will be a sub 40 is equal to the value of the first term, which is equal to 9, plus quantity, the value of n is equal to 40 minus 1 times the value of the common difference, which is equal to 6. Then we will simplify the equation, bring down a sub 40, bring down 9 plus 40 minus 1 is 39 and then 39 times 6 is equal to 234 plus 9 will be equal to 243 so the value of the 40th term of the arithmetic sequence is equal to 243 so let's now have our second example which term of the arithmetic sequence 7 14 21 28 is 224. So this time we will solve for the value of n. So the first step we need to do is to find the common difference. So using the formula d is equal to a sub 2 minus a sub 1, 
a sub 3 minus a sub 2, a sub 4 minus a sub 3. And then we will substitute the corresponding value. So a sub 2 is equal to 14. The first term is equal to 7. Then the value of the third term is equal to 21 minus the value of the second term which is equal to 14 and then the value of the fourth term which is equal to 28 minus the value of the third term which is equal to 21 and then we'll subtract 14 minus 7 is 7 21 minus 14 is 7 and 28 minus 21 is equal to 7 so the value of the common difference is equal to 7 and then after that we will identify the given so a sub 1 is equal to 7, so the value of our first term. And then n is unknown. So after that, the value of the common difference is equal to 7. And then the value of our last term, or a sub n, is equal to 224. So a sub n will be the value, or 224 will be the value of a sub n. So after we have identified the given, we will use the formula a sub n is equal to the first term plus quantity n minus 1 times the common difference so we will substitute a sub n is equal to 224 equals the value of the first term which is equal to 7 plus quantity the value of n is unknown minus 1 times 7 so d is equal to 7 and then we will simplify, bring down 224, bring down 7, plus 7 times n will be 7n, 7 times negative 1 will be equal to negative 7. So bring down 224, then 7 minus 7 will be equal to 0, so 224 is equal to 7n, so bring down 7n. And then you will divide it both sides by 7. So dividing that, 7 divided by 7 will be cancelled out so the answer will be equal to 32 so 224 is on the 30 second term of the arithmetic sequence so let's now have our last example find the 35th term of the sequence negative 4 negative 16 negative 28 and negative 40 so the first step is to find the common difference using the formula a sub 2 minus a sub 1, a sub 3 minus a sub 2, a sub 4 minus a sub 3. So we will substitute the value. The value of the second term is equal to negative 16 minus the value of the first term is equal to negative 4. And then the value of the third term is equal to negative 28 minus the value of the second term which is equal to negative 16 and then after that the value of the fourth term is negative 40 minus the value of the third term which is equal to negative 28 and then d will be equal to negative 16 negative times negative will be positive 4 so 4 minus 16 will be equal to negative 12 negative times negative 16 will be positive 16 16 minus 28 will be equal to negative 12 and then negative times negative 28 will be equal to positive 28 so 28 minus 40 is equal to negative 12 so the common difference is equal to negative 12 and then after you find or after you get the common difference you will get the given so the first term is equal to negative 4, a sub 1 is equal to negative 4, and then the value of n is equal to 35. The value of the common difference is equal to negative 12. So we will find the value of the 35th term, or a sub 35. So we will use the formula of the sequence a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times the common difference. We will substitute the value. So, a sub n will be a sub 35 equals the value of the first term which is equal to negative 4 plus the value of n which is equal to 35 
minus 1 times the value of the common difference which is equal to negative 12. And then bring down a sub 35 equals bring down negative 4 plus 35 minus 1 is 34 bring down negative 12 and then a sub 35 is equal to negative 4 34 times negative 12 is equal to negative 408 so a sub 35 is equal to negative 4 minus 408 is equal to negative 412 so the value of the 35th term is negative 412